G'day, I'm here at the Royal Flying Doctor Service in Dubbo, the base that was established on this day 20 years ago, and I'm here with the CEO, Greg Sam. Big birthday today, isn't it? Really nice one to be part of. Fantastic. It's always great to have your 20th birthday, uh, and even though that sounds quite young, it's been a significant journey for Dubbo and for RFDS out of Dubbo, and today represents so much of the evolution of the service here in Western New South Wales. And look, it started in 1993 with the support group starting, but then 2001, over behind us, the very first shed built, and then planes arrived, etc., etc., and more staff. So the change over 20 years has been quite dramatic. It really has been a great story about the service looking to see where the need was, and as Western New South Wales continued to grow, and particularly around Dubbo, the, the requirements for our service became more and more localised and so where we started was as much around providing an aircraft, uh, just a single aircraft, as part of our broader service. Whereas Dubbo now, 20 years later, represents one of our major bases. It has over 100 staff. We provide a multitude of different services and the future really for us looks like it's going to continue to grow. It really is going to continue to grow. The next 20 years, I guess, is, is what we're looking at now and the way that the service has changed uh, into things like dental and mental health and, uh, and, and transport services is probably going to, uh, again, change in the next 20 years. Look, that's right. Our, our core business has always been our primary evacuation, our retrieval, our emergency services. What we've seen, though, the needs of people living in rural Australia and particularly in rural western New South Wales has seen the opportunity for us to move more and more into primary care, dental health, mental health services, and our patient transport services as well has continued to grow. So what you see now is that we're able to take people from their bedside to hospitals, from trauma sites to hospitals directly, with road fleets, etc. And the, the advantage is that the service is continuing to grow with the community. And I'm sure that will continue for the next 20 years. We're here at the Visitor Experience Centre, which is again a major sort of part of the RFDS story into the future. So look, well done on 20 years. A lot of staff here, a lot of people who have been involved for that full 20 years who are celebrating today. Thanks for your time. Fantastic. Thanks for coming.